Hi, my name is Niklas Limblom. I come from a company named Presepio. We are here at the Arc Processor Summit to demonstrate the features of Trace in an Artos system. In this timeline window, we see time running from top to bottom. We see the different tasks and interrupts occurring, and they are displayed in order from the low priority idle task to the highest priority interrupts. In this case, ISR timer three. If we scroll down here in this view, we see all the tasks becoming active at different times. We see interrupts occurring, but if we add some view filters, we also see why is this task becoming active. Yeah, it is becoming active because it can take a semaphore. That semaphore is given by an interrupt earlier in time. We can also look at sensor queues. Just by double clicking on, on an event, we will open a window that is tailor made for that type of element. In this case, we are looking at the send queue. We, see, we are looking at the fifth time something is posted on that queue. Simply by selecting go to receiving event, we can see when that post is received. Double clicking on that will take us in the main trace view to that time in, in the trace. One of the first things to look at in a trace is to compare the communication flow to what you expect to see. Is this data that we are displaying now what you expect? Is ISR timer 2 supposed to use the semaphore sensor Y to communicate with task sensor Y? In this view it is very easy to see if you have an arrow going the wrong way. If you compare that to seeing the same thing in code, you will probably need to shift through a lot of source code to see this. There are a lot of different views, more than 25 different views in Trace Lizer. Each view is specialized for showing one type of, of event. This concludes this demonstration. I have showed you a very, very small subset of the features available in Trace Lizer. Thanks for watching.